in the third. Still Washington 13-7. George finds Brett Emanuel, a great one-handed snag, going in for the score, but the official... George, a little slant to Emmanuel at the five, at the two, at the one. Burt's in the end zone for a touchdown. He does go 81 yards, but this time it's Emmanuel that gets the touchdown from George. Nice play. Seven to three. Seven to three. three start. First quarter. Look at the nice throw by Jeff George to Burt Emmanuel, and he's gone. 85 yards. He does go all the way. Seven nothing. Fouts on a pretty pass and run. Yeah, Terry Ho coming over from his safety position. You see, he right here at the end of this play, he knows he has misjudged his angle of pursuit. And that foot race, Bert Emanuel, is going to win every single time. First down 10, Jeff George looking, looking, fires far sideline, wide open, Bert Emanuel. He could be gone at the 40, at the 30. Kiss Bert, bye-bye. Field goals. He's now fifth all time in field goals with 305, passing Pat Leahy and Jim Turner. Third quarter, third and one from the five, George to Bert Emanuel. Touchdown. No ordinary expansion team. The Panthers would press the Falcons in a tight left in this first half of the game tied at three. They have the audible. George to the end zone. Oh, what a catch! Bert Emanuel for the touchdown. Out leaping Aaron Glenn. George with the audible, seeing man coverage on the outside, and for Aaron Glenn, just no chance to stop that play. It's designed to go right over top of the head, and Jeff threw a bit of a duck, which makes this catch even more impressive by Bert Emanuel. So the Atlanta Falcons have a 10-3 lead. On the Short drop, quick toss, corner of the end zone, touchdown! Bert Emanuel! At seven, under nine minutes to go in the second quarter. Good rush by Wardell Rouse, but George, nimble, fires on the run. Bert Emanuel makes the sliding catch, 14- Was real mad, but three plays later, George takes advantage of the call. Nice sling to Emmanuel, 30 yards back of the end zone. Bert Emmanuel, nine catches, pair of touchdowns, buck 21, and the Falcons lead it 21 to 14. He touched down. possession of the game, but Atlanta gets a touchdown on the two-yard pass from Jeff George to Bert Emanuel and the crowd already coming down on the Miami defense. Well, that was that was all Jeff George. Jeff George was looking downfield first to Eric Metcalf. And then Emanuel works inside. Beach Vincent comes back outside and because of the mobility of George and that release and the ball to come out quick and the accuracy. So we may have a shootout after all. Despite the intentions to run the ball. Seven to three, the Falcons. For Eric Metcalf and Jeff George in a 13 0 ball game. Play fake, George. Touchdown, Emmanuel. Yeah. And it finished with another wide receiver, Bert Emanuel. And this is, again, one of those frozen ropes by Jeff George. Perfectly thrown pass. Couldn't do anything but catch it up here at the top. Off a play-action fake. I mean, Metcalf attracts a crowd on that play, too, and that set up Bert Emanuel to run the post route. It's Mathis. Third and goal, Hebert to Bert Emanuel. Beautiful touchdown, 25-17. The Atlanta Falcons will never waver. Throws the slam. It is complete for the touchdown to Bert Emanuel. The Falcons are a point of NFL receiver. Touchdown, Atlanta. 
The remaining piece of the offensive puzzle is in place, and his name is Art Shell. I think. I think Bengals after one. Second quarter, here comes Atlanta. Bobby Hebert, short pass to Bird Emanuel. He's in the end zone. Yes, high step. Hebert looks to the left to throw, doesn't find anybody. Now back to the right. Holds it. In the back of the end zone. Touchdown! Little motion by Matt. Wins. In the corner, it's there. Bird Emanuel. Touchdown Atlanta. Enjoy it. I don't know if he enjoys 25 turnovers this year for the Saints. Then Burt Emanuel, nice slant, touchdown catch from Chris Chandler. Emanuel. The Niners, better record than most. Halfback option to Jamal Anderson. Port Sider, 27 yards to Burt Emanuel, 7 0 Falcon. Out of the Landry playbook, running the Ice Bowl, running Super Bowl 12, and run today. Oh. Ray Buchanan from. Louisville got burned. Next Falcons drive. Chris Chandler looking. Bert Emanuel. Todd Light ought to go back to cooking school because he got burnt. Emanuel, second touchdown of the game, sixth of the year. He had 103 yards receiving in the first half. Speaking of over 100. Bowl for the sack, and Atlanta had seven sacks on the day. Yeah, they had 10 sacks the last time they played the Saints. Chris Chandler bought a radar lock on Bert Emanuel. 36 yard touchdown. Emanuel's eighth of the year. He does his score. Chris Chandler with the radar lock on. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. Bert Emmanuel, 38 yard touchdown. Chandler, 12 straight games with a touchdown catch. Emmanuel's ninth touchdown catch this year. Fourth quarter, Falcons up. He is always going downhill. Play action by Delford. It was underthrown, and Daryl Lewis was in perfect position, but he couldn't make the play. Frank Dilfer waits about a second too long to make this throw. Bert Emanuel moves inside, now back out. Now he turns it on the post. There you see Daryl Lewis. He's back there. He's looking for the ball. He's got a play to make. It goes right through his hands. Emanuel continues to focus and comes up with it. This goes right through Lewis's hands. That was an interception turn touchdown. And nose tackle. He's he's a big pitcher. He is. And he's Boomer three, by the way. Third down and three from the 38-yard line as Dilfer throws. That's caught over the middle by Burt Emanuel. Goodbye. Inside the 30, the 20, the 10, another touchdown, Panther. Another long touchdown. Excuse me, but coming into this game. We weren't sure whether Jacquez Green and Bert Emanuel were even going to play. <laughs> I guess they are. They went to Lourdes. You know, again, the same type of play. It's a three-step drop. Trent has great time back there, and he lets Emanuel uncover. This time he's running the slant pattern from the inside part. You can see him. Here he comes underneath. It's a little bit of a pick play right there against man coverage. You get away with it. And I mean, where are the safeties? You're not supposed to be able to do this. And you could see number 85, Riedel Anthony, stepping in front and allowing Emmanuel to come underneath. And really the key there, too, also is give credit to the offensive line of the Tampa Bay Bucks to give that Trent Dilfer. Get to the 12-yard line for a first down. Bucks two for two on third downs thus far. Blitz coming. Don't forget to it. Complete to Bert Emanuel. Inside the five, he goes in. Or did he step out of bounds? One official is standing on the sideline. It's a touchdown for Tampa Bay. Bert Emanuel stayed in bounds and goes in. And the Bucks with a beautiful drive. Our games against Miami. He's also been sacked often by the Dolphins. Jay Fiedler on the roof. Tradition to Bert Emanuel, 53 yards. They call it a touchdown. 7-3, to the Dolphins in the second quarter. Well, this is a very nice play designed by the Dolphins. Look at the play fake from Fiedler. Watch the line. The two deep guys are reading the line of scrimmage. Has the look of an underneath handoff with a pull to it. They don't give the corner any help. 
Nice throw to Emmanuel by Fiedler. And that's just a well-designed play by the Dolphins. In week four against the Patriots, the Dolphins used the big play to cruise to their third win. Throwing deep, looping one for Burke. Emmanuel, he makes the catch at the 10. He's at the five. As the Finns became the first.